Aortic stenosis is a narrowing of the aortic valve and the heart. Now, the aortic valve is the valve that separates the main pumping chamber, the left ventricle, and the heart from the body. So it's an important matter to have that valve narrowed or stenosed. Calcific uh, aortic stenosis is common. In fact, the older a person gets, the greater chance is that they will have aortic stenosis. In fact, in 80-year-olds, there's probably a 10% chance that aortic stenosis exists um, and a 4% chance that it could be very serious. 2% of the population, furthermore, has a bicuspid instead of a tricuspid aortic valve. Um, and in those people, there is a risk of aortic stenosis that is much higher than the general population. Aortic stenosis um, is underdiagnosed most likely because people have a way of uh, denying symptoms. And it's a slowly progressive disease. So that means that someone used to walk to their mailbox at the end of the driveway, which you know could be uh, 200 feet. And they, this year, it's taking them longer, or they have to stop on the way. And they may have denied that that's happening to them, or just written it off to the fact that they're getting older. So the symptoms can be subtle. On top of that, uh, when the patients uh, visit their physician, the physician's trying to look at them from head to toe. And, think about things like cancer and heart disease all at once. And uh, the murmur, which might at first be subtle, but eventually is not subtle, uh, just lefts, is left as a, a normal physiologic flow murmur. Aortic stenosis is undertreated. Uh, there have been several uh, well-done studies to document this, the European Heart Survey and, and studies in the United States as well. And it may be for good reason. Um, a patient uh, who's 86 walks into uh, you know, their primary physician's office, uh, and they're, they're elderly and frail, and he or she may hear a murmur, or uh, obtain an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound that looks at the heart and can diagnose aortic stenosis. Uh, and they may even have a discussion about whether they want to go the path of ev being evaluated for surgery. Uh, and if the patient's old and frail enough and has enough medical conditions, that just the decision may be that they're too frail or too elderly to go through surgery successfully. Even uh, in elderly patients with uh, severe um, symptomatic aortic stenosis, um, valve replacement returns them from a deadly survival path to the normal survival path. So the results of replacing a stenotic aortic valve, even in an 85-year-old, are very gratifying.